You had been doing so good. <laughs> so they are the largest members of the rodent family. So he's got those big old rodent teeth. I am watching. I know. Yes, is not like the no. No, no, no. Oh. Yes, you can headbutt me. That's <laughs> Like if I try underwater. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. You don't get to chew on t shirts. <laughs> um, they've got those large rodent teeth. So yeah, when he's moving around, you can see those very classic buck teeth looking things. Um, what's really cool, rodent teeth are constantly growing. Now, for his teeth, his teeth have always looked really nice and white. Um, I am not sure if they would actually stay that white in the wild. If you think about, if you've ever seen pictures of beavers and beaver teeth, their teeth are actually orange. And what that is, is that rodents don't have enamel on their teeth. That's part of why it's able to keep growing. Our teeth have enamel on it, so it stays really nice and hard, keeps our teeth... I'm watching you! <laughs> um, keeps our teeth solid as we bite into things. Whereas for rodents, every time that they bite, it kind of files their teeth down just a little bit. So they just have that dentin layer. And what that means is for a lot of the rodents that are chewing on a lot of branches, like beavers and porcupines, um, their teeth will actually turn orange as they age because of all of the tannins that they're constantly chewing on with all of that bark. Uh, with the capybaras, most of what they eat are going to be leaves. So they may not necessarily hide. Um, have their teeth kind of turn that orange just because they're not chewing on that thicker, richer areas. But on the other hand, I know that there are a lot of areas in um, the Amazon specifically where just because there are so many trees around and everything that falls into the water, those tannins will leach into the water and just animals that live in the water will tend to absorb some of those tannins and it changes their color sometimes. So I have not found a uh, I haven't done a you know intensive image search to be like show me capybara teeth in different parts <laughs> as to whether they are chewing on branches or living in dark waters and stuff. But hi, Nestor, <laughs> you're being very rude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, it's capybara appreciation day. I can get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I was a free t-shirt. It got holes in it. I don't care. They didn't win them in 2019, so I'm like, whatever. Hi. He's a lot thicker than me. Come here. I know. But she doesn't like cold water. That wiry fur or whatever. The pool in his habitat, um, we dump and refill it with just hose water. And he's got no problem jumping right into it. Half the time when, like, as we're filling it, he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to get in there. He stands under the like shower. Like, he doesn't have an undercoat, does he? Like, Not really, okay. no, um, because he, they do spend a lot of their time, hi, that's my shirt. You don't want you to chew on mine either, sir. Um, hey, I should put my mask on. I know that you splashed me in the face. Um, being in that, uh, you know, tropical area and stuff like that, part of the reason that they spend a lot of the time in the water is just for, like, staying cool right hello oh yeah my husband i put a, i put my uh chewing t-shirt on facebook live my husband was like why i didn't come <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day, yeah exactly <laughs> are you ready to go straws maybe not <laughs> he's like they didn't come for otters they came from me <laughs> So I said, I think he's a Lakers fan. He's been chewing up the Warriors shirt. I love the little wiggle of his ears when he comes up. Like a tempo. Yeah, but is, uh, is it like Disneyland where they wiggle their ears, they're going to charge the boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> True of hippos, not of capybaras. <laughs> so, he 
t-shirt tastes so much better than kale. It's like, what do you think? I know. Well, I know I'm gonna get that no matter how long I stay in. <laughs> so I <laughs> eat her shirt instead. Entice. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to chew her shirt instead. So unlike the otters, he will go to the bathroom in the water. So uh, it's part of why we try to be like, okay, okay, okay. it's a yeah. we don't need you to be swimming in a BM. Yep. So for that, it flows. So you know we have a net, we can always just like scoop it up. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, really I've, I've had, had, had to do that for experience. human as well. <laughs> Literally. And then of course we have to then backwash the pool a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's a baby Ruth. <laughs> it's candy. <laughs> so while the otters like to make sure that they are uh, using the latrine um, in one specific spot in order to help mark their territory, the cabbies tend to move around at least somewhat. They've got, like I said, they don't necessarily have a super defined territory, but they've got a range that they move through. So they don't really want to be marking one specific area as like, oh yeah, this is where the capybaras hang out all the time. Squeal, if you want a break, you gotta come over here. Um, so what they will do is they always use the bathroom in the water so that it just kind of gets diluted and washed away and helps them stay hopefully a little bit more incognito to all of the predators that would try to go after that. Seriously sounds like a child, like, oh, five more minutes, I don't want to go out of the pool. That is very much <laughs> daughter than all. Just wait till he meets the otters. <laughs> it's like, adult swim, no, five more minutes. <laughs> No, you can't fool me. I am not an elevator. You're going to have to take the stairs, my friend. <laughs> When we first started bringing Strawberry down here so that he could start practicing in the bigger pool and mostly making sure that he learned how to like come in and out, he acted as though these stairs were too big for him. He's got rocks and logs that we have seen him clamber over. He's been over stairs that high before, but like these were different stairs. These ones didn't count. And so when we first started out, we actually would have to like put an extra layer of bricks so that he had like little I know mini steps you don't like the warriors I get it <laughs> none of that sir he's like Steph Curry Kobe was better <laughs> hello no you don't get to eat my shirt either thank you <laughs> Always watching. I was like, it looks like he did get a piece of it. It's not gonna hurt him, right? <laughs> okay. I was like, now, all of this, like the this stuff yeah. on the shirts, <coughs> he's like what? is fascinated by. What? I don't know if it's because it's like a different texture. So yeah. He like, gets like his little lips going to get it. And, all four feet. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, he did get you a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm like, hey, that's, no. as I said, free shirt, and they didn't win the championship this year. So. <laughs> and the good news, the otters will probably really like that hole. Yeah. <laughs> I figured oh, it, this, this is one of the bigger shirts I own, and it's a bright color, you said. So I was like, oh, free shirt. <laughs> so I'm trying to do a backflip here, and it's just not. <laughs> Seriously, it's like a child. Like, I don't want to get out. <laughs> it's an attention hog. Uh, he is. It's been a while. He doesn't get to come down here as often as the otters do. And so, he tends to... Yes, I know, you were trying to put all four feet on me, and I can't support you that way. I would suggest you try the stairs. Just that I want you to hold me. There was he a does. day, Strawberry, when you were little enough to do that, but that is not this day. <laughs> you are way too big. Seriously? It's like, it looked like you could be, like, in the Princess Bride, too. Right. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Here. Oh. 